morning diesel morning well we have our load behind us we are loaded we are buckled in and we are ready to go finally let's get back on the road and let's hope and pray for no more problems so we are headed down to memphis tennessee and we better get going all right, so we are just leaving Langley, British Columbia. We're gonna be at the border of the United States of America very soon. Because this whole populated area here in Canada is like right on the border of the states, like weather stripping. Close as they can get. Like everywhere else in Canada. And we're gonna be crossing into Blaine, Washington, United States. There, we have two options for a route. I haven't quite decided which one yet. Depends how cold it's gonna be in the upper Midwest. It's gonna be a little too cold up there. I'm gonna go a little further south. And what do you think you're doing there, Mr. Forerunner? Think you're a big boy? My moose bumper will eat you. So we're just here at uh, border trying to get there. This lineup has been really long. We've been waiting in line for half an hour. Turn left on road to B Street. And we're finally getting through here, so I guess we're about to enter the USA. I'll see you all on the other side. This is duty free here. Going here. Commercial vehicles, USA border. This away. That's kind of nice. We were sitting there for like half an hour. Suddenly we moved up like a quarter mile or so. Not bad. Well, you see the nice wide highway? Welcome to the United States of America. One of the most powerful nations on the planet. Diesel, how's it make you feel? How's it make you feel? Does it make you feel safe? welcomed us in as guests that are so nice thank you very much promise we won't be any trouble I just want to deliver my freight that's all drive 144 kilometers on highway 543 all right Manny 4067 kilometers left to go looks like we'll pretty much be taking the exact same route back as we took here I just gotta look at the forecast for South Dakota yet. And if it's gonna be too cold, I'm gonna go down through Nebraska, I think. Or uh, wherever that other freeway is down there. A little bit further, but I really don't like the cold. And I really don't wanna gel up. So we'll see how cold it's gonna be. If it's gonna be like deathly cold, then we'll consider it. If it's gonna be just moderately cold, then whatever. We'll just stick with this road. But off we go anyways, four days of driving to get there. I believe we're going through Bellevue, Washington right now. Is that how you say it? Bellevue or Bellevue or something, something, something? Sort of like a uh, part of the greater Seattle area, I would say, but I don't know for sure. What do I know? I'm not from here. There's some big buildings over here on the right. I know that. I don't know for sure. That's a fact. There they are. Can't argue that. Beautiful day out here on the west coast. Plus 13 Celsius last I checked. Let's check again. Yep, plus 13 Celsius. Which is a balmy like 55 Fahrenheit. It's beautiful and it's mid-January. Amazing. The truck is running well so far. Knock on wood. Everything is smooth running. Let's hope and believe for no problems for the rest of this trip and for the next several months. <laughs> that would be great, yes. Man, I think I'm gonna get a suntan here. My arm is in the sun here, it's getting warm. I think I'm getting a tan. Woo! How do I explain that? I come home and it's been gone all winter. I come home and I come back with a tan. In 1.7 kilometers, take exit 11 on right to I-90 East. 
I'm not even that far south. I'm in Washington. Weird how the weather works. Weird. We are in the right one. City 11 on right to I 90 East. That's what we're doing, man. I wish I could program her so she knows I'm in the right lane, then she could just like say, good job, instead, you know? Good job, you are in the correct lane. That made me feel good, you know? Like a little high five, sort of. Good for you. No? Maybe one day. We'll probably have, probably have trucks that drive themselves before then. They're already working on it over there in Europe, or wherever that is. Alright, oh boy, oh, take her easy, take her easy, 50 miles an hour, that's what the recommended speed is around here, oh, and then 40, oh boy, man, how does everyone drive in the cock, truck, truck rockets around here, or what? area keep pets on leash all right then it's interesting how they make the pet area completely gravel and no grass <laughs> but they supply you with little poop bags and you win some you lose some oh well diesel come on get her done i know it's gravel and you don't want to but what can you do we're here in prosser washington uh, I'm not too sure how close to Idaho that is. I haven't checked the map, but I just know we're in Prosser, Washington. We're stopping here for the half hour. Uh, this is the little area we're at here, a little rest area over there. Temperature's not too bad. It was about 7 Celsius. I'm guessing that's probably close to, I don't know what, 40 Fahrenheit or something like that. 
maybe just above 40 Fahrenheit. And oh, it's nice to have the truck running again. Can't tell you how much it's nice. So far, it's running good. Diesel, what? You gotta sniff every single pole, every single one? I think there was a dog here, man. There was a dog at this one, too. Awkward. <laughs> was there a dog at that one? There's three poles here, man. There's, I bet you there's three different dogs here. Come on, figure it out. What's their names? What's their names, man? I don't quite know. I think they might, I think they might be Chinese dogs, man. I don't speak that language. The roads have been good, weather's been good. Uh, and we should be sleeping, oh, what was the town called? In Idaho, southern Idaho tonight. I already picked out the pilot that we're gonna stop at. If we can make it that far, if nothing happens between there and here, or here and there. And uh, looks pretty good, I'm gonna have a shower there tonight. And let's take our 10 hour break and continue on tomorrow. Isn't that right, Diesel? So this is what you see a lot of in eastern Washington, sort of like, just a bunch of dead grass. <laughs> you see the grass over there by the trucks? You probably can't see it from here, it's all brown. On the other side of the mountains, everything's green, right? Not on this side. This is good cow pasture land out here. A lot of cows out here. Diesel is just thrilled. He loves cows. You know what's interesting here? Washington State DOT, you kind of, uh, Kinda messed up here. Rest area parking only, eight hour maximum. Washington State Department of Transportation. So you want us to take a 10 consecutive hour break to reset our clock for the next day, but you won't allow us to stop in the rest area for more than eight hours. Hmm. Maybe that means just for the cars? Cause that was on the car side. Confused, I'm getting mixed signals here. All right, I just want to give a special shout out to Tito, who I just met here at the rest area. He recognized me as I was walking around the lot here with Diesel. Big shout out to you, you're from California. I am very jealous of your weather. Just saying. Big shout out to you. Right now, Diesel and I, we got to get back on the road. All right, we're done, let's get out of here. Got places to be. Freight to deliver. Stop signs to stop for. Look at this tarp job. Look at this. I'm not saying I could do any better, but I don't think I could do any worse. That was mean, Trucker John. Don't say that. What is that? Regular tarps? Yeah, whatever works, eh? I've never seen that before. Very interesting. Interesting indeed. And here we are, just on the other side of that initial mountain pass. And everything's back to being brown. <laughs> it's not too cold yet, but it's definitely colder. It's amazing how the, the terrain and the landscape is completely different just on the other side of the mountains, eh? Now there's uh, no trees anywhere I can see. Well, very few trees, I should say. The ones I do see, I think, were put there by people. Don't know what other kind of creature would transplant a tree, but they were put there by people, human beings. Like over here on the right, those were all planted. It's almost like the northern desert. Almost. Not quite. We're still in Washington State. We're going to be crossing into Idaho in the next couple of hours. Idaho. We're actually going to be going through the southern part of Idaho this time. Uh, then into Utah, right through Salt Lake City. That's exciting because I never get to go to this part of the country, so. I've only been to Salt Lake City like once before, so I'm looking forward to going through there. And from there, I guess, uh, through Wyoming, into Colorado, through Kansas, down in Oklahoma, and across to Memphis, Tennessee. I think I go across Arkansas there yet. We've got a long way to go. Gotta be there Thursday night. 
Good boy. You were a good boy today, Diesel. I hardly noticed you. You're so quiet. Good boy. Not that he's never not quiet, except when he sees cows. Did you see any cows today, Diesel? I saw a whole bunch, man. Good boy. Which one was your favorite? You seen any horses? Oh, you saw a couple horses too, didn't you? Yeah, you like the horses, don't you? <laughs> I really like anything with four legs, man. I find them interesting. They're just like me. <laughs> okay, so end of the day is here. We are in Mountain Home, Idaho. That's what it's called, Mountain Home. It's a mountain and it's home for tonight. Mountain Home, Idaho. And we're gonna spend the night here. So uh, it's been a good day driving. It was a full 11 hours today. The truck is running great. Knock on wood real quick. And we're just gonna quickly throw this video together. Go to sleep, we just had a shower so I feel clean. My beard is nice and fluffy. <sighs> and I can't wait to get to sleep. So thanks for watching today, guys. I'm really glad to be back on the road. And I will see you again tomorrow. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. If you want to see more vlogs of mine, you can go down below to the description. There's a whole bunch there. It's under the heading, Vlogs from the Past. It's sort of like Back to the Future. It's Back to the Past. No, it's not like Back to the Future at all. No. He'll figure it out. I trust you. See you tomorrow.